The term console exclusivity has kind of had more of a, a meaning this generation, I'd say more so than ever, with the PC, of course, getting a lot of releases alongside console releases. Specifically, we see it with Microsoft a lot, right, where they kind of made up the idea of console exclusive at E3, and they put it out there during one of their E3 presentations where they showed a ton of games, and they kept putting console exclusive alongside of it, and that was because more or less Microsoft is in the camp of, we're just going to put our games as many places as possible, for the most part. I'm still going to be curious to see if Halo ever goes anywhere else outside of PC and Xbox, but for now, if it's on the Xbox, it's probably also going to be on PC, and they'll label the Xbox version as console exclusive, as in, it's not going to PS4, and it's not going to Switch. But now it, it looks like Sony is kind of dealing with something very similar. Death Stranding has now been officially announced to be going to PC, and this seems to have caught some people off guard, although I will admit... Uh, if you've been listening to the Spawncast, which we do Saturday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, you probably were expecting this. We've been talking about the possibility of Death Stranding being a PC release as well as a PlayStation 4 release for a long time. A lot of us were fairly convinced that it was going to happen, but I will at least admit the announcement time is a little surprising. I didn't expect them to announce it before the PlayStation 4 release was even out there. Now on Twitter, they they tweeted this out from the Kojima Productions Twitter handle saying, thanks to all of you who have been supporting Death Stranding. Death Stranding release on PS4 is November 8th, 2019. Furthermore, Kojima Productions is happy to announce that Death Stranding will be coming to PC in early summer of 2020. Now, this is going to be published by 505 Games, who also did Control. And what's interesting about that, of course, we know uh, 505 has definitely dabbled in in the uh, exclusivity deals with the Epic Game Store. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes down with the Epic Game Store. I wonder if Epic will kind of swoop in and do something, right, with Kojima since, I mean, technically he's still, yeah, he's an independent studio, right? So I'm sure a big pile of money would look really good, especially after he already made money from the PlayStation 4 audience, and then here comes uh, Kojima into the PC crowd, and he takes a bunch of money to go to the Epic Game Store, and I do think Epic may see Death Stranding as a big-time release on their platform to pull in PC gamers even more. That's Epic's thing right now. Put up as many compelling pieces of software to get people to invest into the client by just downloading it and buying a game like that on there. That's their plan, of course. Get Get as many installs as possible and then try to make money off of the customers that are there after they've downloaded the client. Makes sense. But the interesting thing about this is its uh, announcement. It was announced today and of course we're still over a week away, they said November 8th, from the release of this game on the PlayStation 4. Now this the PC version isn't even coming out until they say early summer 2020 and I'm sure that could change like this could end up being a full year even after because you can see delays and other things happen behind the scenes that's probably why they didn't give us an exact date they just gave us basically a window early summer 2020 is is a window that can shift pretty drastically right it could become late summer even it could become fall uh, it can be moved around so I'm not even really that concerned about the release window that they've given us it's just more interesting that they announced this really uh, over a week before the PlayStation 4 version. I think a lot of that has to do with us being used to Rockstar, for example, who has announced games for the PC. Like we've seen, we just saw it like a little, like a little over a month away from when it, when Red Dead Redemption 2 drops onto the PC, they announce it and they put it out there way after the console release. And there's a few things I guess I can see from this. One, hey, maybe Kojima is trying to be straight up with the crowd, right? They're trying to be he's trying to be straight with the fan base and saying, look, I'm not trying to get over on you. I know it's coming out on the PS4 soon. If you want to play it first, that's where you go. It'll be there for, I would say at this point, what, uh, seven or eight months or so? Uh, before, you know, it comes out on the PC. So if you want to experience it there and avoid probably what are going to be some pretty major spoilers thrown out there that could kind of ruin your experience on the PC, grab it there and uh, don't wait for the, well, we've seen before, what, you, you go see you go see a movie in a movie theater to see it first, right? You wait for the Blu-ray release or the Netflix release because you don't care if you hear anything about it and you just, I'll see it later. 
That's kind of what I'm seeing here. The other thought is maybe they maybe maybe they're getting a little bit more from 505 as the publisher and they're like oh we can maybe hold some people off and bring it there uh, it, it's really hard to say i do think kojima owes quite a bit to sony and the other interesting part about this is they're using the decima engine to make death stranding i assume that engine is going to be moved over to pc at this point that does make you wonder going forward for sony i mean up to this point the decima engine's only been used on PlayStation, like at all, right? Horizon Zero Dawn, that, that's Decima. And to see Kojima take that engine, do some crazy stuff with it. I mean, this game looks insane, right? Now you wonder, okay, the Decima engine is, at the, right? It's going to be ported. It's going to be fully compatible, we assume. Does that mean that Sony continues to look at PC going forward? I mean, Sony is doing a lot of interesting stuff in the background right now with game streaming. They have that handshake agreement with uh, with Microsoft that even the PlayStation brand wasn't necessarily aware of at the time. It kind of came out of left field to them like it did to us. I do think that Sony is still on board with keeping their own first party stuff as exclusive as possible and maybe push it through game streaming like we've seen with God of War, right? We, Infamous is over there as well. But it does still make you wonder, and it's going to be really fun to see what these powerful video cards like an RTX 2080 Ti can do with Death Stranding. Because it already looks insane on the PlayStation 4, probably even the base, but definitely the Pro. And now you wonder when you bring in something that's uh, quite a bit more powerful, right, than the PlayStation 4 or even PlayStation 4 Pro. And uh, I think we're going to see some really really crazy looking visuals on on a beefed up rig now i mentioned some clues that have kind of been out there for a, a little bit now and one of the reasons that we were believing that it would eventually come over when i mean when they first talked about their studio they said that their first game would be on ps4 and then pc later it was in a medium q a that they did i don't think it's really up anymore i think it was archived but they definitely said that the first one they did which turns out to be death stranding was going to be on the playstation 4 and then the pc so they were correct there so Sony continues to really refer to it as a console exclusive, and if you remember, we talked about how they kind of pulled it down from only on PlayStation section that they had on their website. There's been quite a few things that have been kind of spotty, and we kind of looked at and say, okay, I, I, I think you're going to do this, this thing where you release it on the PlayStation 4, then months later announce it for the PC. Credit to Kojima, he just went out there and said, hey, you want it on PC? You just got to wait a bit. Something that's really confused me, though, is the response to this announcement, people for some reason don't seem excited or happy about it. Okay, some people don't. I think it's mostly the PlayStation fan base that seems uh, frustrated with this, and I don't really understand it that much. I, I, I think it comes down to wanting a console that you're a big fan of to do really well, and I mean, the PlayStation 4 is it's doing really, really well, but Death Stranding going to PC is only going to be good for Kojima, who has obviously supported PlayStation like his entire career pretty much. So I'm not really sure why you wouldn't want a studio who's putting out at least interesting games. We talk about Death Stranding all the time because it's it's so strange and weird and out there. I don't know why you wouldn't want that to get more money because Kojima is, again, a, an independent developer at this point. So why wouldn't you want him to make more money to make more crazy games and take more risks? In fact, if this game does well, I bet you Sony will probably have him make another game and yeah, it probably will eventually go to PC. But I, I do wonder what kind of happened in the background for all of this to happen. However, again, I've seen people cancel their pre-orders for Death Stranding and I don't, I don't get it. If you were, if you're, if this was going to make you cancel your pre-order, were you ever really interested in the game to begin with. And that probably works on the flip side as well. If you were someone on PC who was uh, bashing Death Stranding and all of a sudden you're excited for it, eh, it's a little weird too. But uh, I, I think this is good overall for Kojima, Kojima Productions, the game, definitely Death Stranding as it's going to go to more places. I don't think it'll, I don't think it'll ever end up on Xbox. I've seen people talk about, oh, it's going to go, no, it's, it's, I don't think it's going to go to Xbox, it won't be going to Switch, nothing like that. It's going to stay on a PlayStation platform and, and then going to PC. I think at this point, all these all these uh these companies look at pc as kind of not necessarily the odd man out but 
definitely not really part of the quote unquote console competition, console wars, uh, because it's kind of off doing its own thing as an open platform. So that's why, like, you see things like Octopath Traveler for the Switch, right? That goes over. Uh, pretty much all of Microsoft stuff going over to PC. I, I just don't think they, they view it as big time competition for them. More of a complimentary thing at this point, I would say. I mean, you even see some systems like the Switch kind of leverage cross progression with things like Civilization. So yeah, it's almost like they're all kind of working with PC on their own way while technically competing with each other. But either way, exciting stuff. Death Stranding going to the PC announced ahead of the PlayStation 4 release so people can decide what they want to do here. I think most people are just going to pick it up on the PlayStation 4 so they can play it right away and see what this is all about because otherwise you're going to be waiting for a while, right? You're going to be waiting, like like I said, like seven or eight months. Me personally, I'm just going to pick it up in about a week and, and see what's going on in here and see if I can actually make sense of this of this game because it's already looking kind of divisive from what I'm hearing from different reviewers who are gonna be putting their reviews up. So uh, I, I gotta kind of see this for myself. But let me know what you guys think about Death Stranding going to PC. Are you surprised or did you kind of see this one coming like like a lot of us kind of did? Uh, but let me know guys down below. Make sure you like the video on the way out if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not, and I'll see you guys next time.